Hello fellow haunters, Greg here, Widowmaker Production. Uh, today is Monday, 31st. Or actually, no, today's Tuesday already. Jeez, where's this week going? Tuesday the 31st. Well, I got the day off. I uh, got up this morning to go to work. They called and said, hey, there's a problem at the job site. You can't get in today. So, got the day off. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Sucks that I don't get paid today, you know, for it. But uh, so here I am out in the garage, doing what I love to do, and I'm working on some monster mud experiments. So let me show you what I'm working on. All right, here is one of my pumpkins that I. I'm working on the the balloon with the wire around it and everything. See, I got my little hook there. It's hanging from. And this one I'm doing in monster mud. Now I'm doing it kind of like paper mache slash monster mud. I'm using newspaper and the monster mud. Uh, I'm painting the monster mud with a brush onto the surface and then laying my strips in and I actually started this one Sunday and if you look real close you can see the balloon at some point actually expanded <laughs> I, I don't get this uh, you know they're supposed to sh you know they should be shrinking over time well the, for, it got so hot in here with the humidity and everything that uh, it actually expanded and broke the joints uh, in a few spots so and this only you gotta remember this only has one coat of paper mache on it monster mud whatever we want to call this I don't know but uh, when you're doing this method it's hard to see where you placed your last strip so if anybody tries this, I would suggest doing them all one direction and then doing them a opposite direction at the same time. So do two coats in one at one time, basically, to hopefully keep this from happening. But it's salvageable, and I got to tell you guys, uh, you know, it's getting hard. It's 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 in spots. It's very hard. You know, it's still drying. It's only two days, but. You know, this side turned out wonderful. Um, you know, it's got to be smoothed out and it looks a little rough right now, but this side is really hard. I must have put more layers on this side for some reason, but, um, you know, it's starting to come together. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, one of the experiments I'm working on with the Monster Mud. Just trying to come up with different techniques and different ways we do things, so... All right, back to work. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I am painting the monster mud on, and then I'm laying the sheets down across one direction this way, and then I'll paint again, and then I'll lay the sheets this direction, and then paint it again and then move on to the next section you can see I've already got this side all done and if you look closely you can see some imperfections it's not a perfect pretty thing you know the sheets do bubble a little bit it's not a perfect thing yet this is just the second coat but uh... yeah well, that's it this one has all been monster mudded turned out pretty nice I'm happy with it still drying but you know it'll be a day or two before it's dry but uh, I think that's gonna work pretty good uh, something else I'm working on today crap everywhere is a tombstone that I monster mudded and I don't know if this picture does it justice but kinda tried a new technique using a, a looped roller uh, this I'll do the motif on but I kinda wanted to give it that worn weathered textured look a lot of the older tombstones have you know they're not smooth they're they're kinda pitted and 
and you know you see a lot of wear and tear on them over from the years but I thought that uh, you know I do the the weather look here and then this be more of a, a shiny look here that hadn't been that was just polished and uh, this be more you know chiseled so uh, and then do my motif in there but it didn't turn out too bad I mean it wasn't quite what I was expecting it to be the texture but uh, you know for front yard tombstone thing it looks pretty good so far so um, that's about it for today guys uh, I'm gonna be still working on stuff but I think that's gonna be it that I'm gonna vlog for today so all right happy hunting catch you on the next one